What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I am doing a highly requested video. A bunch of you have been asking me how to create the perfect manicure. So today I'm going to show you how to do a salon quality manicure at home. All right, no sense in being chatty. We're just going to jump right into it. I'm taking my Blue Cross cuticle remover and I'm going to apply it to my clean natural nails. I am being a little bit messy just because I have a giant camera in between me and my hand. You are not going to have to be that messy. So I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to soak in and then I'm going to take this cuticle pusher. You can also use an orange wood stick and I am just going to push back my cuticles while also peeling off sort of the bits of dead cuticle that are in there. I don't really have too much going on right now because I recently did this. And you don't actually have to do this between every manicure. I would say I probably do it once or twice a month. So that's all you have to do. After you use cuticle remover, you definitely want to wash your hands. So go do that. And then once you're done, you can take some lotion. I'm using OPI Avo Juice, Avo Juice. I don't know how to pronounce it. And I'm just going to take some of it and put it on my hands. Definitely give some special attention to my actual nails and my cuticles and just rub it in right there. Next is a really important step that people always seem to forget. I'm going to apply a dehydrator. So if you're one of those people who always does your nails and you always find it chipping like a day or two later, that's because there's too much moisture in your nails. You're going to need to dehydrate them. I'm using this one from Cuccio. I got it from HB Beauty Bar. I will put a link in the description as well as a discount code. So make sure you check that out. Anyway, so what the dehydrator does is it basically dehydrates your nail plate. So when you apply it, it basically just feels like water and it immediately dries up. Like you can see already that my nail is starting to dry up and get that chalky look to it. So that's going to help the base coat adhere to your nail, which is going to help the nail polish adhere to your nail. Next, I'm going to use my base coat. This is by Cuccio. Again, I love this one. It lasts a really long time and I'm just going to apply it onto my nail. You don't have to be neat with base coat because it is clear. So you can be as messy as you want. Doesn't have to be perfect. Base coat just helps the manicure stay on for longer and it keeps your nails from staining, which is really important. Okay, so now we're finally getting to the painting part. This is OPI I got myself into a jambalaya. I don't shake my polishes before I apply them. What I do do is I swirl the brush around and then I wipe off one side and one side only. And then I use the other side, which has a ton of polish onto it. And I put a little dot in the middle of my nail and then I push slightly up and then down in the middle and then down once on either side. Just because I have been doing this for a really long time, I do multiple strokes, but really what you wanna do is those three solid strokes, one down the middle and then one down either side. So you can see that as I go, it's getting a little bit streakier. Once that is completely and completely dry, you can apply your second coat the same way. Just get one big dot right in the middle there, swipe one down, one to the left, one to the right. It doesn't matter which side you do first as long as you're doing it. And then if you really have to, you can clean it up just to make sure that everything is nice and even. Now for the cleanup, I'm going to take this e.l.f. cosmetic brush. It is for concealer, but I use it for cleaning up my nails. It only costs a dollar and I'm going to use pure acetone. You can buy this in beauty stores. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to really slowly just clean up the edge of my nail. If you make any mistakes or have any imperfections and you want it to be that absolutely perfect curve, this is the way to do it. Using a tiny brush like this really gets in between the edge of your nail and your cuticle and it just makes that perfect line. So once your nail polish color is completely dry, now you can use your top coat. This is Cuccio top coat. I love this one. Again, it really lasts a long time. I love Cuccio products. And you're just going to apply it the same way you apply your nail polish color. You wanna do it in as few strokes as possible and you wanna make sure to get that little edge now I'm going to use some cuticle oil because acetone does really dry out your cuticles and your skin. You can also use regular lotion if you don't want to use cuticle oil, but this is just really extra moisturizing. So this one has this sort of eyedropper thing, so I basically just drop it onto my cuticle. Basically all you just do is just rub it in. I used a ton here. This is probably the amount that you need for your entire hand, but I'm just going to blame the camera again. And if you use too much, that's fine. It'll just soak into your skin. And then once it does soak in, you've got beautiful nails and beautiful skin and you're done. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it to be helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you have any other suggestions for videos that you want to see, let me know below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you subscribe for more nail art. I'll see you guys later.